I really enjoyed this satire on the Hollywood film industry. Hi, I'm Annie and it is still Filmtastic February. This is a reading event that I am hosting uh, throughout the whole of the month of February. And February is not over, so you can still read a lot of film and film related fiction and non-fiction. So I recently read Boy Wonder by James Robert Baker and this novel was published back in 1988. The story is about film producer Shark Traeger. The story is uh, narrated by everybody who knew him. He is a fictional character, so all, everybody who knew him is fictional as well. But it is written in um, some sort of documentary style way, which I like very, very much. It's Sharky's uh, life story from birth to death. Uh, early on in the story, I sympathize with Sharky, who is uh, who has a really difficult childhood. But later on in the story, I start to sympathize more and more with everybody who knew him, but because. Sharky develops into this egocentric kind of person who only cares for uh, the films he makes and is not afraid of using everybody in his environment to get what he wants. But there is one thing he cannot get, and that is the love of his life, Kathy. And he cannot get over her rejection of him. He is absolute, absolutely all of the book through obsessed with her. I must admit that uh, the first 2% of Boy Wonder feel a bit like a loose sand, loose sand. Uh, and because uh, the uh, the although the situations that are depicted are funny, they feel a bit uh, unrelated to each other. But five percent in the book, the story becomes more uh, a, a whole story, and I start to get more interested in uh, the character of Sharky and all the other characters, the people who knew him. But after the, let's say, some 37% in the book, I'm getting a bit tired of the never-ending obsession Sharky has with uh, Kathy. I think um, the book could have lost one chapter of Kathy ob obsession in it because I was getting a bit bored with it. But after that chapter, uh, things pick up and the story is more about other things. Uh, um, film related that well, but that's why I am reading this book, because it is film related satire. And the satire is absolutely fun. It is a bit melodramatic uh, at times, <laughs> but hey, it is satire. <laughs> and the ending, the ending. Wow, this blew me away. What an absolute terrific ending. That really, really makes up for all, uh, uh, for the few uh, negative points I have talked about in this uh, book. This was absolutely, absolutely mind blowing and terrific uh, in my opinion. The, the sublime sublime satire on Hollywood industry. So I like that very, very much. 
I think the book overall is very well written. It is also very reasonably high paced, so you can read it uh, very fast if you are a fast reader. I am not, <laughs> but uh, this is really a well written book. Uh, I must say this is not the book for everybody because there is a lot of violence in it and a lot of uh, swear words are used and there is a lot of drug use in it as well but if it's in a more in a satirical way uh, than in real brutal brutal way so if you don't mind that then i can highly recommend boy wonder by james robert baker as always thanks for watching